blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure intervenor routing plus dscp server on a router so this is a very very important video for you guys because in every networking uh, enterprise networking uh, design and implementation you have to include the two all right so uh, we'll go to our google spreadsheet and let you know that today we're doing number six part one in the real routing plus dcp on a router then in the next class we do for layer three switch okay all right so without any further ado i'll open our google spreadsheet and begin the today's class so the first step is always to um draw the necessary topology decorate and comment i drew this topology as you can see here i have a, a router here it's a 2911 router make sure you choose 2911 router for this lab then if you come down here you see 3650 switch make sure you choose 3650 switch and 2960 uh, access layer switches okay then the computers that's just the same right all right so um another thing is about the command so it's on this router that we are going to do intervenor routing plus dcp then you see this is it department hr and finance it department is having this network villain hr this network villain and finally finance this network and villain number okay all right so let's go to the second step configure villains name them assign them to ports and configure trunk ports between the switches and to the route so in every department we're going to configure this switch to access all the ports in this switch to access VLAN 10 and this port that is connecting to the layer 3 switch to be trunk okay all right and also we've been told that between the switches and to the router so this one should also be transport okay all right so uh the first step guys um that you have to do here as you can see the 3656 the 3650 switch is always uh powered off by default so it's upon us to uh power it on okay so we just click on it the first step actually then we drag the power supply and put it there and close that way that's all make sure you drag the power supply and put it in any empty slot and just close so that the switch can be powered on you can see now it's transitioning from red to orange then from orange to green good all right so let's begin let's begin from it department we have to ensure that this part here is strong okay this one that's connecting to much layer switch this one is strong this one is strong but now for the layer three switch this much layer switch all of the ports should be trunks okay all right so let's go here and we come to cli and uh, enable uh, config t then we create the first step we create villains and we name them and assign them to ports before we can do trunk okay so let's just uh, create a villain let's say villain 10 we name it as it we exit then what do we do we assign them to ports so here we said that this one should be trunk so fa 0 slash 1 should be trunk meaning from fa 0 slash 2 to 24 should be access port for vlan 10 okay so we just say interface range fa 0 slash uh, 2 to 24 the range 2 to 24 okay just say switch port mode access okay they should be access port first okay then after they have become access port then say switch port more switch port access vlan 10 they become access port first then they access vlan 10 and you hit enter and exit then we finally come here and make this as a trunk port so we just say interface uh a phase zero slash one it was a phase zero slash one so, all right okay so just say switch port mod trunk only that exit and do right so we do the same for this department and this department very simple so this department should be villain 20 and this one villain 30 i do it very very fast save time okay because of i have demonstrated on the on this side right okay
Okay, guys. So I have done. Uh, I've done the first part, which is uh, which is to configure VLANs, name them, assigning ports to the VLAN, uh, assigning VLAN numbers to the ports, and uh, configure trunk on the access layer switches. So we move here. We have not finished uh, the job. So we move to the multi layer switch here. And when we come to the multi layer switch here, we have to configure all the three VLANs. Remember, on the individual access layer switch, we are configuring only one VLAN. But when we come here, we configure all of the VLANs here. Okay? All right. And all of the ports here, we, one, two, three, four. The ones that are connecting to the router and the three access layer switches should be trunk. So let me just see this one. This is uh, gig 101, uh, gig 102 until gig 104, until gig 104, all right? So from gig 101 to gig 104 should be trunk ports, okay? All right, so let me just go here and first configure VLANs here. Just say no, enable, and configure T. Let's create VLANs. All the VLANs that are created in our network, okay, should also be created in the mat layer switch. So just say VLAN. 10 name it as it then vlan 20 we name it as uh, hr uh, vlan 30 uh, we name it as uh, fin finance and we exit okay so what's remaining here is just to configure this 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 as trunk so i just going um, uh, i'll go there and say interface range gig 1 slash 0 slash 1 to 4 this range okay this gig this gig um this gig uh, 1 101 to gig 104 okay so from this range interface range gig 1 slash 0 slash 1 to 4 they should be trunk switch port mod to be trunk and we hit enter exit and do right so guys we are done the configuration from the multi layer switch to the access layer switches okay so what's remaining is just on the route which is very very simple and very very important it's the topic of today interval routing on a route plus dhcp server okay all right so what i'm gonna do there um let's go to step three which is to create sub interfaces on the router Bind them to the respective uh, VLAN ID and assign IP address. So, guys, to create a, a sub interface on a router for inter VLAN routing purposes, we have to identify which interface is connecting to our LAN. So, on this router, it's only this interface that is connecting to our LAN, which is a uh, it's uh, gig zero zero. So, the first thing we go to the router, uh, we go to CLI and we just say no, then enable. Uh, config t then interface gig 0 0 you can see it's red meaning it's in shutdown state so we have to turn it up just say no shut and that's all exit <coughs> so let's create sub interfaces we create sub interfaces uh, according to the villain id so for for example, this is VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30. So if we go to um we create sub interface on the gig 00. So let's go here and start creating sub interface. So the interface gig 0 slash 0. Okay. Then for VLAN 10, it will be 0 slash 0 dot 10. That's a sub interface for VLAN 10. Gig 00 dot 10. And you hit enter. Then we'll be told here, we were told here that. Bind them to the respective VLANs and assign them IP address. How do we bind them? We just say encapsulation dot one q the VLAN number. The VLAN number was ten here. Okay, all right. Encapsulation dot one q ten and we enter. And now finally we assign it IP address. Uh, just say IP address to be one and two dot one six eight dot one dot one. The first IP address in this subnet. Then subnet mass of two five five. Dot zero and eight enter we exit so we are done with vlan 10 so let's go to 
VLAN 20. Well, let's create a sub interface for VLAN 20. Now it will be interface gig 00.20. Okay. Then we bind it to VLAN 20, which is encapsulation.1q20. Then we send it a P address, okay, in that subnet. So let's let's take 2.1, two, two the first usable IP address in that subnet, okay. Then we exit. Finally, we go to VLAN 30, interface gig 00.30. Then we bind it to VLAN 30. Encapsulation of one q 30 the villain ID of villain 30. Okay, then we are sending the P address which is 3.1, and that's all we've done. We've finally uh, completed inter villain routing on the router. Okay, all right, so let's go down and see what's next. Create DSCP pools, assign network addresses, default gateways, and DNS addresses. Very, very simple. Guess this now. Uh, this was uh, this was the number three was um, number three part one was uh, interval routing. Now number three part B is number three part B. There are three number three. Num there are two number threes here. So number three part one was uh, all about interval routing. Now number three part two is DSCP server configuration. Now we create pools according to the part department. The first thing is always to enable DSCP service. Just say service DSCP. That's all. You, you've enabled DSCP service. Then let's create pools. The first, we create a pool for IT department. Just say uh, the IP uh, DSCP pool for IT department. Just write the name of the pool. Let's say IT pool. Okay. Then we send network. Network is a uh, network is, here is one and two, one and two dot one six eight dot one dot zero with a seven mask of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and we hit enter. Mm -hmm. Then also we assign sorry default gateway and DNS address. So default gateway should be the first IP address here that we what that we used during interval and routing. You can remember this one. The IP address of the sub interface of VLAN 10 okay all right so it was the default it just said default default router to be 12.168.1.1 so as per now let's make DNS address be the same as default route okay and then 2.168.1.1 and hit enter exit then we go to the second pool which is a um, uh, HR pool HR pool IP DCP pool HR pool okay you first exit uh, IT pool, then you come to HR pool, okay? So here also we'll send network address. The network of uh, HR was 2.0, okay? It was 2.0, very simple. Then we'll send default gateway, all the default route. The default router should be the, uh, the, the, sub in, the IP address of the sub interface, okay? Can you remember the sub interface for VLAN 10 that we created? VLAN 20 that we created, it was 2.1, okay? all right so that's very simple so 2.1 i change 1.1 to 2.1 okay D let's make dns the same as default router in this case just let's say 2.1 and that's all we exit and finally we go to which pool for finance finance pool we just change okay then we assign the network network was 3.0 and let's do default router or the default gateway it should be 3.1 the IP address of the sub interface that we created okay and finally DNS DNS should also be uh, 3.1 let's make it the same as default router exit and do right so guys we have done uh, interval routing configuration plus DSCP server on a router so uh, number four tells, tells us that we should exclude the range of IP addresses that should not be assigned to uh, computers dynamically, okay? First thing we do, we do for IT department, then we come for HR, and finally for finance. We just say IP, ACP, excluded address, okay? Then we say, we give the range, 192.168.1.1.2, just a minute, 1.10. So from 1.1 .1 to 1.10 should never be sent to any any 
posting the net okay all right so i hit enter this is for it department let's do for hr now for hr we just sing this one to two change this one to two then finally let's do for finance change this one to three then this one to three and do right now let's test the first the first ip that should be given out is zoo dot 11 in every case so I'll come back to static and come back to dcp see dot 11 so also here if okay all right so thank you so much guys and i will let you know that uh, we've done the first part of number six so tomorrow we're gonna meet to do uh the second part of using layer three switch so thank you so much guys please subscribe to my channel like this video share with a friend and drop a comment below thank you so much and bye